Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be a live update and also um, just sit down video to talk about my struggles being as a full-time real estate agent and now a mom. Um, how I'm dealing with the transition. If you guys follow my journey, you know I got my real estate license 2017, moved to Philadelphia in the summer, started working as a rental side of um, the agent. So I did a couple rentals. I think I made about $5,000 and I switched to the company that I'm with right now for um, the sales side of business. So I started working with some buyers for the first six months and then I started picking up my phone, started cold calling. And then after that, 2019, became a full-time real estate agent for the listing side. 2020, I started growing my team. Now I have four to five buyer agents. I'm solely doing the listing side of the business. And a couple months ago, I gave birth to my beautiful daughter, Emery Rose. Um, now she's about four months old. So this is for you guys that don't know who I am. I have to say that I am very blessed to have so many great clients and I am incredible grateful that I set up the system that I've built to become a real estate agent this way because I have never seen an agent that in my office or anybody that I know have the same system. Right now, if I don't do any prospecting, if I don't make any single phone calls, like if I don't do any prospecting, I would still be fine and I will probably be on track to make more and more each year just because my past clients referral, all the cold calls done in the past two and three years and my VA cold calls for me. So I'm only doing just follow up call and I should be able to kind of do more sales like each year because I've built a pipeline. And the way how I have it set it up makes me don't really have to worry about getting new clients. And But this is not the whole, this video is about, it's about me. Um, I am such a competitive person. When I'm in this job, when I'm being a real estate agent, every six months, I tend to do things to get me out of a comfort zone, to pick up a different challenge. Um, now, this is like six month mark. And when I reach to this year, the six month, I just feel like I'm not going to be able to hit the goal that I have set for myself this year. I feel like I don't have the hunger and the drive that I had the beginning of this year. When I was pregnant, I was interviewing different virtual assistants. I was training them. I was doing so much more. Um, but right now I'm not even pregnant but I just don't have the same drive anymore, which concerns me. Um, and that's kind of why it leads to today's video that I want to talk about and my struggles are when you have a child, everything that this child is doing, it just concerns me and consume everything that I have. Um, I remember it was like about a month ago, I went to the gym. I still train three, four times a week in the gym. And I had a different purse that I brought. So like my cell phone was in do not disturb and it was in my purse. Normally I check my phone even when I'm working out, but because it's like a different purse, it's a, some weird zipper. So I just kind of leave the phone in my bag. I just didn't check it. It was just for like that one hour. And I remember before I go in for that workout, I checked in the camera. I saw that my daughter was sleeping right next to my husband. So I left, I put blanket and pillow to the left side of the bed where next to my husband is. And my daughter is like literally like in his arm. And after I left, I saw that she was laying sideways to the left side of his arm, but I don't have any pillow and blanket over there. 
But I know because she still cannot flip her body yet. So even if she would start to flip, which I don't think that's gonna happen, she would like go so many flips to hit the side of the bed. And then she would go like at least five to six flips until she hit the end of the bed. So I just don't think anything would happen. Like she's not gonna, you know, get off the bed. But after my workout, I saw there were 10 phone calls from my husband and I picked it up and he was like screaming at me. And he basically just told me that my daughter fell off the bed. And I started like bawling my eyes, I started crying. And you know, I just have all these like bad ideas going through my head. I didn't want her to get hurt. You know, she fell off the bed, she kind of was kicking and kicking and you know, all of a sudden like she fell this way. But the moral of the story was to kind of let you guys know, ever since that happened, I just have, like at the back of my mind, I just feel like there are always accidents that's gonna happen like for a child so every time when i'm even in the office doing work or if i'm working out i just want to finish this task quick so that way i can come back home and kind of take care of her and with that mindset it just make the productivity that i have differently and affected me for two three months you know now i'm slowly adjusting to work from home so that way i can keep an eye on her you know i'm slowly just kind of fitting the role and not to like freak myself out too much so that will be i'll say my number one struggle that's like being a full-time agent and at the same time like being a mom i don't know how any other mom does it maybe it will get easier when she gets bigger you know, I send her to kindergarten or daycare. There are, you know, people there taking care of her. I, I don't know, maybe that'll get better. Maybe it'll get worse. But if you guys have any tips, feel free to leave some tips down in the comment section below. The next thing that I am really struggling with my mental health is I feel like I get anxious all the time. I get overwhelmed all the time. Um, right now I'm running two different channel and I have been reluctantly I just have been very slow on producing content and even you know just putting out more like short videos on Instagram or even like content on my other Chinese YouTube channel it's like my mind is not there I don't know if my content will be good enough for people to see like I started doubting myself I don't have the same confident level that I had before I took two months kind of just slowly to build myself back up and try to figure out a plan um, and now I feel so much better I have listed kind of four tips that really helped me and number one is to really like talk to people around you people that love you it could be your significant other it could be your family kind of tell them how you feel and see if you can get any tips from them or you can even talk to like a professional like a psychiatrist or like a therapist maybe that will really help you um, the second tip that I find is really helpful is to list all the tasks that I needed to complete it for that day um, the toughest for the first one and then you know the easiest to put it at the last so I started doing that and that make me feel much better too because like sometimes I just don't feel like doing follow-up calls or I don't feel like filming a video and I just get that out of the way first thing in the morning so I don't have to think about it but comparison is the thief of all joy don't compare yourself with other people I tend to compare myself with a lot of people around me or just you know people who are in real estate who makes youtube videos uh, majority of them are, are actually guys um, i compare myself with them you know i see them traveling i see them doing so great and i'm like what am i doing you know i mean my sweatpants i'm just like at home but then my husband always say well you just had a baby like you have a kid and maybe these people don't have kids you know so that makes me if I continue to compare myself with other people, it doesn't make me feel good. So right now what I do is like, I try not to compare myself. Sometimes if like seeing things that doesn't make me feel good or I tend to just don't look at them, don't consume too much of social media um, and really kind of spend time with my daughter. And I know this video is really out of the ordinary because I don't post stuff like that 
on my channel that much. I just want to be real and open with you guys with the transition that I am in. Um, if you are a mother, you have great tips that you think it could help me, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!